Hi guys, how are you? I'm Robin, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to this new video. Now this one's our first impressions video, looking at the Bachelor of California Paste Pomade. So for this one, I'm at the Baxter Finley Barber and Shop, which is actually the Baxter of California Barber Shop in LA. Now, I've popped down here because you guys know I really like the clay pomade, but I haven't tried any other products. So I've gone through a whole lot of them and decided that I'm gonna try this one, which is the paste pomade, which came out last November. So I'm just gonna go through a few different things. It's not gonna be my usual totally structured video, but it's really just a first impressions and not a full review. So straight away, it looks exactly the same as the clay pomade, really. Exactly the same color, exactly the same packaging, but this one just says paste pomade. So, going into it, straight away I can see it's got a slight shine to it. If we look at it against the clay pomade here, we know from the clay pomade that it's fairly matte and it's quite hard, so it does really set. To me, the clay always smelled quite minty. This one is a lot lighter and quite floral, I think but not floral in a sort of really sort of heavy flower sense. It's still got a sort of masculine sort of touch to it. Okay, looking into ingredients, this one at the top is water. Um, so the main difference really in that is the clay has got wax in it as that main uh, ingredient. So really I'm expecting this to wash out fairly easily. I'm not gonna wash my hair today, but I can let you know in the description how that went. Okay, so scooping this out and trying it. It's actually a lot harder than I thought it was gonna be. Looking at this, because it's got that kind of shine to it, I thought it was gonna be quite creamy, but this actually is true to its name and is quite pasty. That really warms up very easily um, and goes clear straight away. Again, I was kind of expecting it to be slightly more creamy and slightly more gloopy, but it's not. Slight stickiness to it, but nothing I wouldn't expect really from any sort of hair product. Okay, getting it into the hair. Fairly smooth, really coating nice and easily. You can see already, it's got a slight shine to it there. Now this is obviously with no sort of prep treatment or with any sort of thickening tonics. This is me literally just using the product. So I'm gonna grab a comb and I'm just gonna see really what I would do with this. So, a bit of product there. Just whack this back, straight back. You can see it's, it is coated. And actually, it's got a pretty sort of good hold to it straight away. You can see that, getting a bit of shape to it. You know, unlike the clay, which you can kind of change up quite a lot, this does feel like it's drying slightly, but it's water-based, so I'm gonna just put a little bit more product in. I'm gonna see how that goes, and just sweep over. And actually, do you know what? I'm gonna grab a hairdryer and just blast a bit more volume into this and see what happens. You can see we've got quite a bit of volume in the front there. And it does have that slight sort of shine to it. I mean, I think I probably did use a bit too much product there, but I felt like I needed it because it was starting to dry. So there we go. I'm gonna go with this as a final look. I mean, this is obviously me doing it very quickly for a bit of a first impression. So if I was at home, then I'd have all my stuff out, I'd have my hair dry, I'd have my round curling brush, and I'd be really pushing that in. But actually, it's not bad at all. It is exactly the same price as the Claypool made, which is $22, and I'm gonna link everything in the description below, so you wanna check it out. Also find some UK prices and other places from around the world, obviously, so they'll be down there. So my verdict, what do I think? Um, I wasn't expecting it to be as good as it was. Uh, when I saw it there, I thought it looked, you know, overly shiny and quite creamy, and I don't really like creams, but it actually was a lot sort of tougher and harder in terms of consistency, and went through fairly easily. It does have a slight shine to it. The one thing about this I would say is you've got to work quite quickly because it does start to dry. The thing I really like about the clay is that you, it's really malleable and you can change it up all day, whereas this is going to set. I would say, you know, if you're a guy who wants a hairstyle to stay all day, especially if you maybe got slightly shorter hair, then this could be pretty good for you. But if you do have that sort of hair that you want to be touching all day and you want to be changing it up slightly, then the clay might still be the best option for you. But I would say give this a go and see kind of what you think for yourself. Um, this is definitely a product I'll keep in my sort of hair product armory, but it's maybe not something I would use absolutely every day. But thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this one. Something a little bit different and also getting out to another part of the world, obviously. If you're new to my channel and you've not yet pressed subscribe, then please do press subscribe right now. The button's gonna be up there. 
give it a big click. Also, more video suggestions down there. Stay with me and watch them, or head to my blog, which is right there. But I'll see you in my next new video. Bye-bye.